Hey there, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of creative homes and showcase stories of people living alternatively. For those of you that are parents, I want you to imagine for a moment if you had to raise your kids in a 188 square foot house. Sounds chaotic, right? Well now imagine that same house with a beautiful ocean view and opportunity for daily adventures. Maybe it doesn't sound so bad anymore. Well, in today's video, you're gonna meet a family of four that have been living tiny and nomadically for years. And they're gonna take us on a tour of their gorgeous Airstream, which is currently parked in Baja, Mexico. If you like these kind of stories, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know every single time I publish a new tour. All right, guys, let's take a tour. My name is Harvey. And I'm Alexis. I'm Steven. And I'm Levi. And, and we're, we're the Nassimino awesome family. family. We had friends that had a Sprinter van and we were just so impressed. Steven decided, he's like, I think we should get one of these. When we first got our van, it really checked all of the boxes for us on mobility and space. And then when our kids came, we were weekend warriors for, gosh, a good part of the first few years of their lives. They really enjoyed it. You could see that the outdoors was their element, really brought out their creativity and their personalities. We knew right away that was something we wanted to do more of. We gave ourselves a true deadline and said, okay, by June 8th, yeah. We're hitting the road. Saying that date is such a huge step. You put a date on the calendar, you say, this is the date, like our departure date. And then you kind of work backwards from that. And it's amazing what having that date does. We knew we needed to do this for ourselves. If we didn't do it, we would live with such regret that we never gave ourselves the chance to try. We had only planned to be on the road for a year and we were getting into our second year and the kids were sort of outgrowing their sleeping space. And so that was kind of the catalyst for us to yeah. decide that we needed to do something different. The van was just wasn't going to continue to work for us and the kids. And so we landed on the Airstream as sort of being the solution and just switching from a van to a, a truck and a trailer combination. We just wanted to separate sort of our living space from the vehicle so that we could have a little bit more flexibility. We say in our van that we didn't live in our van, we lived out of our van. And now in the Airstream, it's definitely like something we can live in. This is our 2017 Airstream Flying Cloud rear bedroom. We've had this particular model for about a year now and we've really come to enjoy it. What we really liked about the Airstream, one of the reasons we decided to purchase it was all the windows. We used to have a lot of windows in our van and it was really important for us to maintain those views. And the Airstream has a ton of windows, most of them open, it's really great airflow and it really makes for a great aesthetic look. The other thing you'll notice is it's a dual axle trailer, which is really great for stability. It allows us to go down some roads without worrying too much about the terrain and the conditions. This particular model weighs in at just over 6,000 pounds and has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,600 pounds. So it gives us about 1,600 pounds of weight to play with, which is really helpful for a family of four trying to fit all of your gear and all of your food and all the things that you need to live on the road. One of the things we did was had the Airstream lifted three inches and it was a really simple modification to make and that really helped protect all the tanks that are underneath the trailer because now they run flush with the axles. We had an issue with our freshwater tank that got damaged. We definitely don't want a repeat of that. So that modification will help us avoid that situation in the future. All right, let's go ahead and take a look up on the roof. One of the first upgrades we made to the Airstream was adding these additional solar panels and swapping out the standard batteries for lithium ion batteries. So we installed 300 watts of solar on the roof, which was a pretty easy thing to do on the Airstream because it comes pre-wired for 300 watts of solar. Those 200 amp hours of lithium batteries really give us all the battery power that we need and the solar power can keep up as long as we're in pretty decent sun. 
So one of our favorite features on the Airstream is this big awning in the front. These awnings are super easy to deploy and create a ton of shade. And it really comes in handy when you're camping in places that are really sunny and warm. So this is the back of the Airstream. And one of the things I wanted to show you guys here is that the Airstream really doesn't have that much exterior storage compared to most other travel trailers out there. It does have a little bit. You have a small storage compartment here in the bumper. And then you have this storage compartment for us that goes underneath our bed where we carry a lot of our hoses and electrical components, but that's it. So we're pulling our 28 foot Airstream with our 2021 Ram 2500 diesel. This thing has a towing capacity that's more than double the weight of the trailer when it's fully loaded. We really just wanted something that we could depend on and that we knew was more than capable of towing our trailer anywhere we wanted to go. So the back of the truck, we have all of our storage items. We have a lot of our gear and things that we just don't need access to regularly, but we want to have with us. And one of the things that really helps us keep all this organized is this deck drawer system. It allows me to get to all my tools, my air compressor, and all the things that I might need in the case of an emergency without having to unload the entire truck. Come with me, I'll show you around inside. Welcome to our living room. This is one of our favorite spots to just relax, enjoy time as a family together, and of course, take in these beautiful Baja views. We also like to entertain a lot in our trailer, and so this is a great additional seating area for our guests. Our couch converts into a bed area. It's a great spot when we have our nieces and nephews over to have a sleepover, or if the kids just want some extra sleeping space. Welcome to our kitchen. One of the great things that I love about this is all of the upper cabinetry where we have extra space for our dishware, all of our spices and seasoning, and it makes it easy when we want to just throw something on the stove and cook and have everything right here. One thing that we could use a little bit more of in this trailer is some extra counter space. As you can see, when I'm cooking and I'm trying to prep for my meal, I don't really have a lot of wiggle room to get the work done. So this is our dual zone Dometic fridge freezer. It typically lasts us about two to four weeks when we're off grid with the amount of food that we put in here, which is perfect for a family of four. To be honest, we probably would run out of water before we would run out of food and have to make a grocery run. Next up is our pantry. We really like this pantry because it gives us a ton of storage space and it goes pretty far deep into the trailer itself but we actually use it as food pantry. We've got our bath towels, toiletries, air fryer, everything we need. This is also a cool space to put the kids' drawings. Sometimes we've added calendars if we've got really busy months going on, but our kids love to be artistic and we want to be able to maintain the clean space of the Airstream, but also showcase off some of their work. All right, so let's talk about the shower. The shower itself is a nice treat because when we were in the van, we didn't have a shower. And so for us, this is really nice. The shower itself is a little confined. We are short people. I'm 5'4", my husband's 5'4". So if you're a little taller, I think it might feel a little bit cramped, but we really like having a shower. There is one thing that I don't like about this shower, and I don't know if it's a pervasive Airstream problem, but we have to lift it up to open and close it. So when the kids are taking a shower, they're relying on us to get them out and, uh, and back in. So this is our master bedroom where Steven and I sleep every night. We do love this area. It feels like there's enough space for both of us. Not quite enough for the kids to sleep with us, but they've got their own bed. The other thing that I should note about this bed is that it's a queen. It did come with a standard mattress, which we promptly tossed and got our own. And because we are short people and we do like our extra space, Steven actually cut off the front end to ensure that we had enough wiggle room to go around the bed. On either side of the bed is our closet space. This is really great because it does have an area to hang up our clothes. The bottom compartment though is sort of a wasted space, at least for us, because it doesn't have any shelving. And so it tends to just be a junk drawer where we throw like winter clothes or my yoga mat, just the extras that really don't have a designated space. So one thing that we do to keep organized that you might wanna think about is utilizing packing cubes. It actually is a pretty efficient way to utilize the space. We've got it organized by our undergarments, shorts and t-shirts and whatnot. 
And when we get our laundry in, we put them right away, stack them in there and we're good to go. So one feature that I really like in the bedroom is the his and hers areas. So we've got these nice little cubbies and compartments where we can add our books. I can put my glasses before we go to bed. One thing that we also have are these lights over the bed. I really like it because I'm a reader and I like to read at night. We have a ton of extra storage under the bed and we put all of our dirty laundry under here. All of our drinks and things that just don't fit anywhere else go underneath the bed. All right, let's move on to the bathroom. So it is a smaller space, all things considered, but we can actually fit two people in here pretty easily. We've just got the standard issue RV toilets, a Dometic. So this is our dinette area. This is where we do all of our family meals. This was really important to us because when we were in a van, we didn't really have a dedicated space to sit down and have a meal together. This is also an important place because it's Ruby's little home. She sits underneath our table and has got her bed down there and she's super cozy and comfortable. And I think she likes it when we're doing our family meals because our feet are all tucked up underneath her as well. One of the other things about the dinette space, and this is probably our most used compartment within the Airstream itself, is the snack drawer. This is where our kids have free range to come in and out, get their own cereal, all their snacks. Because the kids are in here all the time, I know when they're trying to sneak a snack because it's so noisy when we close it. When we first got the Airstream, we actually thought we would probably rip out the dinette space just to give us some more floor space and versatility. And we quickly found that it converts into a bed for our kids and they prefer to sleep on this one as opposed to the one behind me. It's probably the size of a small twin or full bed. The reason why we like this bed is because there we both sleep together because usually this little guy would have nightmares a lot of times, like, I mean, a hundred. The blankets are so comfortable and, and, the pillows are, and the pillows are so soft. And also, Harvey used to be scared of monster under the bed. Since Ruby's under here, our dog, she is kind of the monster under the bed, basically. I think we could sleep three years in this bed until we want to probably change our minds and go get a new bed. We want to show hey, you our, our secret, secret compartment. So this is our secret compartment filled with... Toys! We got stuffies. We got swords. We also got toys. And also a lot of books. You can really live this lifestyle in any type of rig. I think for us, our rig for right now, the point that we're at, works great for us, but it might be another rig in two years and three years. And so the vehicle you're in, it's just the tool to get you out there. But the point is to get out there and explore. You're going to encounter obstacles and challenges along the way, and it's how you handle those and how you face those, especially as a family, makes all the difference. Living this lifestyle is not easy. It just has its own set of challenges. For me, I would much rather take the hardships that come with this lifestyle than the ones we were experiencing in our old life. Hands down. I hope you guys liked this week's video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with another tiny or unique home tour.